Retro handhelds are awesome things. Everyone knows that. Except your Uncle Todd. He doesn't know what they even are. No one cares about him though. Freaking Todd. Setting them up and customizing them is one of the greatest joys in life. But what happens if you get a new retro handheld? You don't want to have to redo all the stuff that you did before, right? Of course you don't. That's Todd stuff. You want to take the easy road and clone the system that you have on your old device onto your new device. But cloning an SD card, that, that sounds hard, right? Well, don't worry, buddy. I got you. So to do this, you'll need a couple of things. You'll need the SD card that you want to clone, and you'll need a second SD card the same size or larger than the one that you want to clone. And you'll need an SD card reader, like this Anchor SD card reader dongle thing. A link to this and the SD cards that I recommend in the description below. And with everything we need, we're ready to get started. And this tutorial is only going to take two minutes, if you can believe that. Let's get a timer going. Step one. The first thing that you want to do is take the old SD card out of your old device and shove it in the SD card reader dongle and then shove that into the USB-A hole of your computer. Step two. We're going to need a program to do this. It's called Win32 Disk Imager. Download that from the link below and install it. If you're on a Mac, you'll use Disk Utility instead. And I'll include some extra written instructions for you Mac losers in the description below. Step three. Next up, we need to pick which drive that we're going to clone. Sometimes an SD card for a retro handheld will have more than one partition and there might be m more hidden partitions and you don't need to worry about any of that. You just need to make sure that you know the drive letter of one of the partitions. Step four. In Win32 Disk Imager, select the drive letter that you want to read and then click this little folder button here to choose where you're going to save the image. Give it a file name and then click read. The program will then read everything off the SD card, including all the other partitions, and write it to the image file on your computer. It'll take a while, so grab a root beer and binge a few TechTweed videos while you wait. When it's done, eject the SD card. Step 5. Now we need to write this image that we made to the new SD card. Shove the new card into the dongle and shove that you know where, and then take note of the drive letter of the new empty SD card. Back in Win32 Disk Imager, select the drive letter of your SD card. Make sure you are selecting the right drive letter or you will lose data. You have been warned. Then click the little folder icon and navigate to the image file that you saved. And then click write. It will write the image to the new card. It'll take a while. Be patient. Step 6. When that's done, you can eject the SD card and actually that that's it. Believe it or not, you're done. Yeah. And now you have all the knowledge that you need to clone SD cards. You basically have superpowers now. Will you use them for good or evil? Only time will tell. Click the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Subscribe if you haven't yet for some dumb reason. Don't be like Todd. Come on now. That's it for me. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.